Don't forget to like and subscribe! All right, this is the place. Their tunnel must be behind that gathering of Fatui guards. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. As agreed, uh, Hal and I will handle things at the front. Oh yeah, welcome back everybody. We are in the middle of a crazy plan. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first so they can't alert anyone. All right, I'll do whatever you tell us to. You'll get <laughs> All right. Overrule. I <laughs> All right, that's done. Let. All right. Yep. Yeah. What Easy do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. We'll take it from here. Keeping as quiet as possible, tries people from the Children of Echoes make a quick work of digging inside. a tunnel. Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. All right. Please, take care. Yeah, this is crazy. How did they dig all that so quickly? Uh, yes. I didn't see any recommended elements, so we'll go with this. The Fatui wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Malika. You look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing, even by my tribe standards. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, she just punched to make a tunnel? I mean, I, yeah, that's one way to do it. Sure. That must be the Fatui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just following her, Mawika's uh, instructions and points, because I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> Even though I don't think you can, but yeah, whatever, whatever. There's another one over here, right? No? Okay, great. Wait, yes there is. You, I hate you. Freaking invisible run from dead. bastard. Yeah, so yeah, there was another one. I just... whatever. <sighs> this spell is from the Masters of the Nightwind. It's Aurorons doing. They're probably trying to buy time. Can we, like, dispel it? I guess, okay. I mean, that seemed easy enough. These wheels are relics from ancient times. We should try to restore them. These mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Let's give them a try. Uh, sure. I mean, I don't know what... Oh, oh, I get to stop. I don't know what image we're trying to make, though. Uh, stop? I guess, maybe? I'm not sure. Is there like a hint? Uh, yeah, okay. I'll figure this out, I guess. All right, I finally got it. That would that would took a minute. It's nice that the freaking uh, was it? Once you get a portion right, it kind of fixes itself and you can't move it again. Yeah, that was extremely helpful. Oh, there they are. <sighs> this must be it. There they are. Oh, the captain's here too. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like they focus their defenses over there. Oh, they're here. Huh. I thought the Pyro Archon would choose a frontal assault. Well, you thought wrong. It doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. 
Oh, well, Stop. shit. It's too late. This, okay. We need to turn it off. There's still time. I won't let you do this. <gasps> uh, the sound of lament. Uh, bad thing. I'm. Look I'm at that sound. It was like a piercing cry. Now's our chance to turn off the device. So close. We need to approach from the side and lure the captain away. Auroran? How did he just... What did he do? His movements have gotten a lot faster. Was Auroran always this good in battle? I, well, I don't know, <laughs> man. Jelonin. Uh. This ends now. Uh. Huh? What is happening? Something's wrong. Yeah, no shit. The captain helped Shalonin? Why? <sighs> <laughs> you are not Auroran. Who are you? Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Commander. You. What? So, you still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Although, I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. Now, okay. Disabled the... Yeah, we disabled the device. <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment. And now, you've lost your chance. Even now, you're still the same as ever. His voice is completely different. Is... Is someone inhabiting Auroran's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. It must be why I've returned. For this moment. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. <sighs> I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Abandoning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already close to death. After all, his soul has been incomplete from the start. Okay, so the captain's talking about Auroran, saving Auroran. Someone said I'm close to death. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry came from underground when I activated the device. What's down there? Natlan's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. Ugh. Uh, am I dying? Oh, no. It's too soon. Ah, Aurora, it's you. What'll it be today? Oh, why the long face? Uh, don't tell me you still haven't let that go. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you. I... I heard everyone wanted me to be the savior. Oh, is this where he uh, found out that they tried to... sacrifice him as a child to save Natlan? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person, hmm? Auroran, is that you? Oh, here, have a seat. Let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh batch. Can I get you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, maybe? Ask for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Ah, you liked those, did you? An outlander taught me that recipe, actually. A merchant, to be exact. 
never thought about going into business yourself, my boy. You could travel all over. Our Auroron? A merchant? He's far too honest for that line of work. Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old-timers like us. Yeah, they have a point, but Everyone what is this? The true savior does not really exist, but then... Why did my birth open the door to the possibility? Why give people false hope? Maybe I don't need to sacrifice myself, but surely everyone is born for a purpose. So, what's mine? If I had succeeded back then, would the world have become a better place? Uh, what's the meaning of my existence? Done spacing out, Auroron? Did you finish your homework? Yes, Granny. It's just... <sighs> Will learning all this really make me as strong as you? <laughs> of course not! I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. Still as humble as ever. <sighs> because you're a genius, right? Uh, you could say that. <laughs> Or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them and picked up a few tricks that they didn't want to touch. Uh, <clears throat> it's rude to bring up a woman's age. Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> um, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Anyway, class is canceled tomorrow. Go have fun. What about my homework then? Right. Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me anyway? You've seen how the tribe treats me. They're all afraid. I try to go about my business and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living one's life, I'd say. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. Granny didn't say it outright, but... I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself. Don't beat yourself up over the past. That's what she always says. But I never forced myself. I never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Hey, you zoning out over here again? There's such a thing as overwatering the radishes, you know. I was just looking at the aphids. Something interesting about them today? Uh, I noticed some on the ground. Maybe it got too cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Bummer. Guess that means less honey this year. Aoife, do you think mm, being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. Exactly. Most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. Oh, jeez. That troublemaker's at it again. Aurora on my man. Come inside and give me a hand, would you? Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. Well, I guess there is a fun part. Trying to outsmart these rascals. Come on, give me a hand. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. I mean, I don't know about that. Maybe it depends on what you're trying to My soul do. Is unstable. I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece. A part of me has always been missing. That's why the other spirit said I was close to death. But why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Just close your eyes and wait. Is he Conrian? It was you. The thing that came out of nowhere. Thing? I'm a warrior. Far stronger than a weakling like you. I'm not weak. There's just a limit to what I can do. And that's exactly why your fantasy is so ridiculous. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? Useless? Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, 
Why would you have to become that person? Exactly. Most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. But I don't want things to end here. Auroron? It's all right. We'll take things from here. Every time they marched into battle, I had to stay behind. Don't worry. With the Archon on our side, the Abyss doesn't stand a chance. All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. I want to do my part too. I wonder why he can't. Maybe because his soul is incomplete? He can't be revived by the Wyab, maybe? Both of us are bound to disappear. But your end will come sooner than mine, because you've been broken from the start. Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates into the wind, I will take temporary control over this body. I will serve my commander until the end. No. No, this isn't right. My life can't end like this. I, I still haven't done anything important with my life. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. <sighs> I can't die here. No, I won't die here. Aurora. Aurora. Oh, shit. <sighs> that voice. Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. Mm. I'm surprised the captain just stood there. Well done. You managed to do the impossible. Well, I guess he is in it for the same Natland folk, so I guess. Uh -huh. It's just interesting to me, I guess. Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. <sighs> I can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of Auroran as a comrade. He was helping to rein him in all this time. That's the only reason I had the chance to turn off the device? Ugh. I... I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you managed to hold on to yourself. That's no easy feat. The worst appears to be over. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. Our plan. It failed, didn't it? I'm sorry. We were so close. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. Gotcha. That's why he did it. Well, part of the reason. Auroron. I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer. A reason why I exist and why everyone always did so much for me. No one is born a hero. And no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All I want is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. <gasps> oh, shit. Is he one of the, uh, the six people? You are the inheritor of my name. The hero from the Masters of the Nightwind who shall fight for this generation. I did not expect Auroron to be... Fascinating. 
You're not the person that the others thought you were. And yet, you're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. It can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Like you, I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning, too self-absorbed. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Now, remember your name. Even if others will see a different meaning, it still symbolizes your nobility and yearning. My ancient name, BD. It means devotion. You will give your all, not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found for your life. For that answer, you will offer all of your strength and be born anew. Through your devotion, you will prove your worth. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. <laughs> It's nice to see you again, Sanhaj. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. Shit, just one more. Yeah, I did not expect because Auroran's like a four star, right? So yeah, I did not expect him to be one of the heroes. I just expected all four of them or all six of them to be five stars, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I did not see that coming. <sighs> I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought. The Lord of the Night has awakened. Uh, good thing, right? Don't we need to speak to her to get an ancient name for Lumine? Lord of the Night? As in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom? I preside over a realm of souls. Due to my limited power, sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Yeah, we, we got that. Most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But with a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened, and his soul almost shattered as a result. And yet, his soul remains in one piece. He managed to overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will. A truly impressive feat for a human. So, was that what caused all his strange behavior earlier? No, that was something else. An additional soul was affected. Yeah. It tried to take refuge in the missing part of your friend's soul, but was ultimately expelled. However, this soul does not hail from that land or the Night Kingdom. Its origins remain a mystery to me. Yeah, because that dude was Conrian. Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Why did it awaken you instead? Because I was the one who originally constructed Natland's ley lines, otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. Gotcha, so she is... The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world, allowing the Abyss to invade. Natland's ley lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Natland, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old ley lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyro Archon, Shibalanke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss, the Ode of Resurrection, and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right! You said before it all came from the power of the heavens! The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. I like ancient dragons as in like 
The Dragon Sovereigns, or no? Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now, I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more, at the cost of my own existence. All right. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? To save Natlan, right? The people of Natlan worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angels. Okay. But adventurers like you are probably more familiar with our devolved form. Ah. Oh. I gotcha, okay. No wonder there are Seelies around here. Asili also helped us in the Night Kingdom! Few angels remain in that land, so the same is true of Seelies. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I have become your faith. I am very pleased. Moika. Inheritor of Shibalonke's will, and leader of Naplan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken. And the efforts of this harbinger and the young hero have imbued me with power. Say the word. And I will once again work to fulfill my mandate. Just as I did thousands of years ago. You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the abyss. Give me your orders. Is she gonna do it? I don't like this 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 uh this camera angle. I will not. Yeah, there it is. I figured. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention. All the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. The people of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Oh, uh, well, maybe that's a... okay. Maybe it's a good thing she said no then. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the Abyss runs rampant, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. I mean, listen, you could say that about your plan. Like, how... Like, are you too presumptuous to assume that the Abyss won't come back after we do it your way? What will it take for you to realize that? How many hundreds or thousands will have to die? The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet, has it? Why are you so pessimistic about the situation? Why? Because I am a survivor of Conria. I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the Abyss with my own eyes. <sighs> Conria? Yeah, I... That's right. My family. My comrades. My homeland. We're all lost to the Abyss. It is an unforgettable pain. One that no amount of time could ever dull. Not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. 
You have that chance before you now. Why do you refuse to take it? Because we don't have the right to make that decision. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings, their physical bodies the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in humanity, you should trust in their ability to create a new future. Or, history could repeat itself. The Abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we do it the captain's way, it just could happen again. <laughs> this is, yeah, there's no right or wrong answer. Can I say something? I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save our nation. In the captain's plan, I saw a chance to ensure our survival. But as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life. I refuse to forget that. My feelings were so strong, they overrode my compulsion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we will lose the meaning of our existence. That's right. Natland's heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the Abyss. Their sacrifices are our blessings. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. I don't want to give up just yet. Yeah, we're just one hero short! The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. Okay, so a backup plan uh, to our backup plan. <laughs> Yeah, because if the heroes don't work, we have the Gnosis, and if the Gnosis don't work, we have the Lord of the Night. Even if you fail, you need only send someone my way. My offer still stands. Humanity is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now, you stand before me, dazzling, like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The land or its people? That is an amazing question. Hmm. Yeah, and yeah, he knows. That's a good question. Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. I want to win. What about you? Fine. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited the memories of his forebear, there's only one hero left. Your plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. Yes. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Jesus, I did not expect... <laughs> I did not expect the captain and Mawika to be aligned. Thank you. Holy crap. Having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. Yeah. That is an insane boon. I know we may never completely see eye to eye on what it means to protect life. But for now, I'm willing to fight by your side. Hey, fist bump. Do it. Yeah. Sick. All right. We should uh, let everyone else know about the plan. They're probably still at each other's throats outside. True. Good idea. We need to explain the situation. I have a few more questions for the Lord of the Night. Oh! around then i'll update everyone outside let's meet back up at the stadium uh yeah sounds good yeah that's dope i mean i guess like arlequino was on fontaine's side but it wasn't like direct it was because she was grilling farina right and trying to do the political play yeah 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 but yeah, this is very direct alliance. This is insane. This is so badass. You come to me with many questions. Oh, yeah. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. All Ask, right. And you shall have the knowledge you seek. 
Oh yeah, about the power of the heavens. They do not like being mentioned by name by any living being, be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. The one you wish to know about? I call her the Ruler of Death. She helped Naplan establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. Oh, of the Heavenly Principles. Okay. I was like, which one are you talking about? Okay. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. I think. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which quite displeased the almighty... Heavenly principles. Okay, not the heavenly principles. She's talking about somebody else. Got she it. She succumbed to self-pity as a result. And no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self-pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. You come to me with many questions. A Luma fate. I'm not familiar with that concept. The device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines, you say? That's, yeah. Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. If that power were available to the people of Natlan, they might have a new option against the Abyss. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get that, though. You come to me with many questions. Phlogiston is Tavat's primordial form of energy. The Heavenly Principles used Phlogiston as a basis for the creation of elemental energy to develop a power to better counter the Abyss. Okay. Have you heard of the concepts of the Light Realm and the Human Realm? Hmm. That explanation might take too long. Yeah, probably. Light refracts into seven different colors, which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. Elemental energy is a similar concept. It's essentially the modern counterpart of phlogiston. Oh, okay. I got you. Come to me with many questions. About my ancient ah, name. Yes. yes. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. Yeah, yeah. No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Oh, sick. The young girl? See Lolly, what? right? Did I say something wrong? Oh, because she calls herself Grandma. You Got come it. come to me with many questions. Nope. That's all. That, that helped a lot. Depart. All right. That's it. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I didn't expect the the captain and Moika to be on the same side. Uh, I hope it doesn't crumble at the end, because I'll be I'll, I'll be really upset. Because this is just badass. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off here until the uh, next episode. Later.